Hello everybody, thank you so much for coming back to my channel, especially into the new decade. So this is my first video of 2020, so it's pretty exciting. I feel like I have to start off with a bang. So if you're new to my channel, my name is Riley. I'm a full-time reseller. You may or may not have heard of me as Honey Rags before. This video specifically is going to be clothing related, but pushing that aside for just a second, my New Year's resolution, one of them that I've put forth is to do weekly videos and I want to be more transparent about everything that I resell. So last year I kept it pretty clothing related because um, that was just the audience that I developed and like half of what I sell is clothing. So I just kept my channel pretty much clothing related. I threw in a few vintage things here and there, but for 2020, I'm gonna be showing you guys pretty much everything including like liquidation wholesale and some liquidation unboxing, which I think will be really exciting. So. If you're looking forward to something like that, or that sounds like something you'd be interested in and you're not subscribed to my channel, of course I have to say it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Aside from my resolutions, like I said, this is a clothing related video because for this video, I'm reading you guys a list of brands, a list that I put together of brands that seem to be pretty hot in 2020 that are regularly selling for $50 plus. So I'm not just giving you guys any brand, I'm giving you guys brands that are maybe, I just call them like underdog brands. And by underdog, I don't mean they're any less than a normal brand I would tell you guys to look out for because I wouldn't be telling you guys to look out for them if they were. But by underdog, I really just mean brands that you may not have heard of, brands that aren't completely mainstream. Um, Cause I think when you kind of hear like the same 20 or 30 brands that everybody knows about like um lovers and friends lululemon obviously like j crew and stuff like that it's not even really helpful at that point because you already are on the lookout for those brands the list is really in no particular order so what i do this is how i put together my little lists which i really love doing lists so if you guys have any list ideas by the way drop them in the comments because i love doing lists um how I, put the, how I put them together is a few times a week, I will go through Poshmark and I will filter women's clothing and I'll t just type in dress or top or sweater or bottoms. And I will filter sold and then after sold is filtered, I will filter the price range to $50 plus. Um, that way I'm not just looking at things that are selling for like six and $10 constantly. I'm looking for things that are actually gonna bring in a pretty penny if you do have the chance of finding one in store. So that's how I put together my list. Um, and if I'm going through like a thousand items that sold for $50 plus, and I only see a brand mentioned a couple of times, I usually don't look any further into that brand because I just figure in my mind, um, the chance of finding that brand is so low or it's a brand that doesn't often sell for $50 plus, And that's why it's not popping up often. So I'll just kind of use my common sense. If a brand keeps popping up and I'm seeing it quite a bit when I do my filtered searches, I will note it down, which is how I got my list. So the first one I am reading off here is Faithful the Brand. I know that one kind of gets floated around a bit within the Instagram reseller community because I've heard of it before, but I've been seeing it pop up quite a bit in the filtered searches for $50 plus, obviously. So it's, um, it's kind of like a country chic brand. It, like, it reminds me of like a prairie, like somebody, like a prairie dress type brand, if that makes sense. Um, like little florals, dainty florals, really um, warm pastel colors and stuff like that. Ruffles, you get the point. So that's definitely a brand to keep your eye out for. And the label actually is Faithful the brand. It says like the entire sentence on the label, I think. So another one is Karen Walker, specifically Hi There by Karen Walker. So if you're looking at the tag, you would just probably see hi there. And then it says by Karen Walker in tiny little font. Um, I've been seeing this brand pop up quite a bit, specifically their dresses. So just something to keep your eye out for. Um, I do believe like the Karen Walker website as a designer, I think her items are really pretty luxury. Like they're high up there, but I think the high there brand is more like anthropology type standard, if that makes sense. <laughs> House of CB, and I know CB stands for something, but I cannot think of what it is right now. House of CB London, that would probably be on the tag. That's a brand that I have been seeing a lot lately, so it must be pretty hot right now. I know that brand was pretty popular last year, but it is carrying on into 2020, which is why I'm saying Bolo that brand for 2020. I did a quick Google search on the brand just to get an idea to tell you guys like what it was all about. 
And I had no idea it was established in 2010. I thought it had been around for a while because it just seems pretty popular right now. So that's pretty cool, you know, new brands. Um, I think they have cons they have their own stores, but then they, they also have like concessions in Topshop, I believe. Black Halo. So this is actually over the past couple of weeks, this is the first time I really started hearing about this brand. Uh, it could have been really popular over the last couple of years. I'm not sure, but I'm just starting to notice it now. So I looked up Black Halo, the brand, and it has a pretty high retail price. And it seems like most of their stuff is fancy, solid color. So be on the lookout for that. The label is black. It just says Black Halo. Really simple label. Beta Brand. Now, Beta Brand has been pretty hot but it is just spiking in popularity, it seems like, which is why I'm including it in this list. The uh, B in the beta is like a weird uh, symbol. It reminds me of wingdings, but it's definitely not wingdings. <laughs> but that's what it reminds me of. Um, it's like a yoga active wear type brand, and I think it's located in San Francisco, but always be on the lookout for beta brand active wear for 2020. This one I know is a given, but I've seen more of it now than I've seen in like eight months. Jenny Yu. So specifically Jenny Yu like fancy dresses. Um, Jenny Yu is luxury, so the chances of you finding one isn't super high, but I did notice when I started within the reseller community, um, Jenny Yu wasn't brought up that much. It wasn't brought up as much as like, Prada or Eileen Fisher or Dolce & Gabbana. It's probably a horrible example because I don't think that's brought up that much anymore. <laughs> um, but you get the point. It just wasn't brought up that much. So I figured I would include it in this video because it's 2020 and it's their dresses are still selling at high prices. Her dresses are still selling at high prices. This one may be a long shot. This may be the longest shot brand that I have in this just because it's really, really expensive but it's Marchesa. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Marchesa, Marchesa. I'm gonna leave that down in the description along with all of the other brands if I'm saying them wrong. Feel free to correct me. So this was like a luxury brand that was established in 2004, apparently. It's based in NYC and it's expensive AF. So if you look up Marchesa and you try to go shopping, everything's gonna be like in the thousands of dollars. I've been seeing that brand quite a bit when I'm looking at like really expensive dresses that were sold, used. Black Milk. So Black Milk is actually, that's on the label. It kind of, the label is similar to Black Halo in the fact that it's just a black label with white text. But Black Milk is, kind of reminds me of like dog, dog's kill. God, I need to go to bed. It reminds me of Dolls Kill. They just have really crazy cool like all around patterns, like, um, like a dress with like nothing but like aquarium, print on it or like a geographical dress with just a map all over it. So their prints are really cool. They're really out there. It's really hot right now and retail black milk stuff doesn't seem to be super high. Um, it's pretty reasonable, but their stuff still has a good resell rate. It seems like um, especially certain prints and patterns, like the more unique, obviously, probably the better as far as um, looking at it from a reseller's perspective, because if they discontinued a certain print on their website and somebody's looking for it, you could probably get close to retail value for it if you found it. Misa, M-I-S-A, Los Angeles. So this is another brand that I kept seeing at the beginning and end of last, or the beginning of this year and the end of last year. I would saw it a couple of times and I didn't really think twice because again, it was one of those things that I didn't see a lot of popping up. But then I saw it a couple more times and I'm like, what is this brand? So I had to look it up. Misa Los Angeles. I don't know the most about the brand except the fact that they have something called nomadic fashion, which I think is really cool. But they're selling. They're out there selling at very decent prices. So keep your eye out for that. Dress the population. Um, this is a brand that I think I've heard of maybe like one time and then it was something that I saw a few times on my brand search. Dress the population, it kind of, just think of like glam, I guess. If you Google it, you'll see like glam sequins, stuff like that. Like nice tassel dresses, they're really pretty cool. And the retail value is, you know, a pretty penny, so they also resell for a pretty penny. Um, it wasn't a brand that I heard anything about, I don't think in like 2017, 2018. So maybe it's like a, a new hot brand, who knows. 
I'm going to say this and sound dumb, but Kate Spade. So obviously a normal reseller would probably see Kate Spade and get it anyway. I'm not really giving you guys tricks on and tips saying Kate Spade you should be on the lookout for because you probably already know that. But what I mean by why I put Kate Spade in this list is because I thought for sure, I thought last year for sure, at the beginning of 2019, I thought Kate Spade was kind of falling off a little bit. I think I even read an article that their sales were down. But that article doesn't include the used clothing sales for Kate Spade. So I'm including it in this list because I see it all the time. The past few times I've searched women's dresses and filtered sold for $50 plus, within the first few listings, I will see a Kate Spade dress that sold. So Kate Spade is still hot. Just don't discredit it if it's like 10 or 20 bucks, if it's a nice cute dress, I would still pick it up because they are still selling. So Gale meets Glam. So this is a totally new to me brand. I only heard about this one a couple days ago, but I had to include it in this video because it's one of those brands. Um, somebody started it. They started her, she started her clothing brand on like a blog. And I think it was like in 2011, it's pretty new, 2011. I had to check my notes, but she like worked her way up, I think within like the influencer community. And now it's a pretty hot brand. I, I see it, I, I've seen a handful of them sold. Uh, I don't know what your chances of finding Gale Meets Glam are, but definitely something to keep your eye out for, especially if you're in one of the like trendier cities for in influencers like NYC or Chicago or, Los Angeles, pretty much anywhere in California or anywhere really in Colorado that's not the boondocks because cool people live in Colorado. <laughs> Isley, New York. And I feel like I'm saying that one wrong too. I-I-S-L-I. So this is more of like a luxury designer brand, but I've been seeing it pop up quite a bit. So it's something to keep your eye out for because when I started reselling clothing, I had never heard of this brand. So keep your eye out for it. White and Warren. Yes, white and I think maybe it's the and symbol or maybe it's the plus symbol, I don't remember. White and Warren, um, they're famous for their cashmere and I think they sell that brand on Revolve. A, a simple blue white and Warren cashmere sweater just sold for like $50. So it's definitely something to put in the back of your mind for future reference if you run across it. So I'm gonna end this with a bang and give you guys a brand that is totally new to me, but it's like upcoming. Are you gonna walk into Goodwill tomorrow and find this brand? Probably not, but I did have to include it in this list because it definitely is upcoming. I don't know how long they've been around, but they seem to be pretty hot right now. It is Zadig and Voltaire. Yes, I know. I only have to say it one time and it's probably gonna be in the back of your mind forever. Um, I went to their Facebook page because I, I kept seeing people selling this brand and I could tell it was from a personal closet because it would be like laid out on carpet or like laid out on somebody's bed with the hanger still on it. Um, but I kept seeing this brand and it was so captivating, but every time I clicked on it, I just, I was kind of confused when I researched it and I'm like, oh, I'll never find this brand. So I just set it aside, you know, didn't think about it again. But then I saw it again right before I made this list. And it was just this weird like embellished sweater that sold for like 50 bucks or something like that. So I had to go to their Facebook page and they're really, really cool. They're, they're definitely for a particular like underground crowd, I guess. But it just reminds me of like David Bowie meets steampunk meets Louis Vuitton meets rock and roll. It's really crazy. It's really cool. I guess keep your eye out for that brand, but also don't get too excited about going out tomorrow and finding it. Cause like I said, it's kind of like something that seems to be upcoming for me. So I'm sure you guys can understand why I said underdog brands, because a lot of these brands on here were kind of like off the wall type brands that not everybody talks about, but don't discredit them. Um, I'm gonna actually leave each brand in the order that I listed it down below in the comments so that you guys can actually see it because I know sometimes reading something will like burn it in your brain better than just hearing it out loud. So um, I do wanna say too, my main point on doing these underdog videos or brands you may not have heard of that sell, my main goal is just kind of to give you guys tips that you haven't heard of before. Personally, I can never have enough good brands in my brain. Um, every time I go to the thrift store, there is a brand that I've never heard of before. Almost every time I go, there's a brand I've never heard of before. And sometimes I really am in too much of a hurry to look it up. And I can't imagine how many good brands I've passed up 
just because I had never heard of them before. So that's kind of why I do videos like these. I do think within the next couple of weeks, I'm just gonna make a basic video of brands to look out for in 2020 that are more common or easy to find. So if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Um, you can go ahead and leave a comment down below. I have been really slacking on my YouTube responses lately just because of the holidays. I had a lot going on. But now that it's officially five days into 2020, I am ready to get back to the grind <laughs> on YouTube. Um, I'm also going to leave a link down below in the description to my Instagram so you guys can go ahead and follow me on there. And don't be afraid to comment, say hi, introduce yourself. I love meeting new resellers. So I'm going to end this video here. As always, thank you so much for watching and happy freaking new year.